Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and wherever you may be, this is Jabe here with Learn Brizzy Clown. This is the first official video, and the whole purpose of this channel is to give you the opportunity to learn Brizzy Clown, and it's focused on beginners, total beginners, you don't need any coding, no experience. I'm going to show you how to make websites very easily in Brizzy Cloud. I love Brizzy Cloud. Now, first of all, what is Brizzy Cloud and what does it mean when you can make websites? We've all heard of it, but yet we don't really know people who are doing this all by themselves. And the truth is you can do it. It's going to take you a little bit here and there to learn a few things, a little bit about images, a little bit color, topography, how to build out a website. But most importantly, you will need a tool to create it. Brizzy Cloud is such a tool. And I will talk a about all the benefits and also the other trade-offs in not using some of the other platforms that are available on the market, such as WordPress. But for this series as a starter kit, I'm going to show you absolutely from the beginning to the end how you can make websites, how you can make blog sites, how you can create stories and uh, pop-ups. A load of fun, I'd say, Bobby. And all you need to do is make sure you come back around, well, I'll say once a week, and then I'll take you there. Remember, no coding, no experience. This is for total beginners. The first thing, go and check out what is Brizzy Cloud. By now, you probably have done it. Follow the link in the description below. And all you need to do is have a look at what they tell you there. But the proof is in the pudding. I mean, people can talk a big story. I have signed up for a number of website creation websites and they turn out to be pure poppycock. So the best is for me to show you how it works. The first thing I will say before we go and create an account is just to show you a few tutorial demos that I have made in the past with Brizzy Cloud. And there are two versions, this Brizzy Cloud free and then, of course, if it's not free, it's premium, or we like to call it pro, right? Now, with Brizzy Cloud free, you can do an abundance of stuff. You're going to make your Auntie Tilly very, very happy with what you can do with Brizzy Cloud free. Her knitting club can go and have their own website, and they don't have to spend a cent or a penny. And these websites here, for example, here I have an engagement website all done with Brizzy Cloud free. I don't remember when I did this. I think this is already two years ago. It was for a tutorial demo. And you can have a gallery there with a light box. Very nicely set out. And there's a countdown. You see, they already got married. That's at zero with the RSVP form here at the bottom. All done, Brizzy Cloud free. This one is a CV, which is, I think, a very popular way of putting yourself online professionally nowadays. Bambi Sombrino. And then you can see a little bit of our background. This is all lorem ipsum text, so just placeholder text. A little bit of a big banner, which I'm not sure is a good idea for a CV, but that's a different discussion. More about her skills. There is her full background, her education and then some branding, maybe people that she has worked with, and then here, her curriculum vita resume that you can download, and then again, contact details here at the bottom. Great CV website. This is a portfolio website I created from an idea I stole from someone else, and the idea is just to showcase your photography, all done with the layouts, or rather, my layouts that I've made within Brizzy Cloud, again, Brizzy Cloud free. Excellent way to present your portfolio online. And then again, very important, a contact form at the bottom to contact this person and make use of their services. Let's see the next one. Also a portfolio, but this time for an artist, an idea that I got from somewhere and then I played around with it, came up with my own. So what you have here on this landing page is you have this big Euro image here. And then below it, you have all the works of the artist with the contact form at the bottom. But what's important is that if you go to any of this, of these works, and you click on it, it's going to open a new page for you. And then from here, you will have a little bit more about this artist or this work, the inspiration, how you planned it, 
colors being used, and you can purchase it on DeviantArt. And then here, very nice back home button at the top that will take you again to that landing page, and then you can cycle and go through all of the others. Actually, with the new blog feature that came in last year within Brizzy, you can actually create a very nice listing for your works. You don't have to do what I did here. Something we can try out in the future. Let's have a look. Okay, this is a bakery. And you can see nice slider options here. All done in Brizzy Cloud Free. Nice images. Tell us more about the chef. Oh, so good. I'm hungry. And then here we have some animation just to show you. You can do that. Opening hours, contact details, and then more images. And finally, the ever so needed contact form at the very bottom. And the last one, also an idea I borrowed from somewhere, can't remember where, but this is again more or less like a portfolio for interior design using parallax fixed backgrounds. You'll see what I mean when I start scrolling through it. So I've got Janet Koleski. She is the interior designer, and this is a view of her projects. And then you see, as I scroll, it's going to give you that fixed background image. Very nice. One pager. In fact, is it a page? It is a page. I don't think I did. Let's see, view project. Does this take me anywhere? Did I design anything? Oh, I did. Okay. Same thing I did, similar to the portfolio I showed you earlier. Here you go then to this specific project. And it will, yeah, similar thing I did with the other one. And then you have the home button here at the top. I really like this kind of idea for portfolios. If you're an artist, a musician, and you have things that you've done in projects, excellent way in doing it. All of this was done in Brizzy Cloud Free. At the very end, when we've really covered Brizzy Cloud Free, I will show you Brizzy Cloud Pro. And I really recommend you to go pro. There are so much extra you get at a very affordable price. No nonsense. All right, so let's close this out. And before we sign up, one word about the name Brizzy. You may get confused if you don't know anything about WordPress or what's happening in the world of website building, page builders, site builders, theme builders. But if you go and look online, you're going to find two instances of Brizzy. One is Brizzy WordPress, and then this one is Brizzy Cloud. The two are the same, yet so very different. We'll be working in this channel with Brizzy Cloud. So whenever I just say Brizzy, I'm referring to Brizzy Cloud. We're not going to be talking about Brizzy WordPress, maybe now for a few seconds. And after this, I will not refer to Brizzy WordPress again on this channel, but you can check out the other channels for that. Brizzy WordPress is similar to Brizzy. It is the same builder. It can create the same kind of pages, but it isn't done in the cloud framework. It is done on a different framework called WordPress and you can find a lot of tutorials online on Brizzy WordPress, loads of stuff. And it gives you a little bit extra flexibility, actually a lot in terms when you want to create things like online shops, or if you want to create learning management systems like e-learning online and other listing options that you have. So why would you choose Brizzy Cloud? One, it's all in one solution. You don't have to think about 99% of the things that you have to think about when you work with other builders and other setups and platforms. The other reason I think it's really affordable, especially Brizzy Cloud free, duh. And then in general, Brizzy is just very user intuitive. I love using Brizzy. I enjoy the interface. It's not perfect and I haven't found the perfect solution out there. And sometimes you're going to find that there are other options out there that add something that you would like. You're not going to find it in Brizzy, but then you're going to find that Brizzy has some stuff that the others don't have. So try it out. This is for free. You've got nothing to lose except maybe time and effort and frustration if it's very new to you. But I think it's a great journey to go on. So let's get started. Now, the first thing you will need is to go get a account. And that's very simple. Follow the link in the description below, go to Brizzy Cloud, and then here in the top right-hand corner, select Account Login. 
This will bring you in what appears to be Brizzy Cloud. You will see here in the background we have what we refer to as the dashboard. But I highly recommend don't mess around with that. Just create a free account for yourself, then at least you get to keep your work. If you don't create the account, you will be playing around in the sandbox environment. You can create websites, you can do everything I'm going to show you. But the moment you close out or somebody else signs in, you're going to lose that work. So the idea is go ahead and create a free account. And that is very simple. So the first thing I'll do here is I will create quickly one here. And then we set a password. I'm not a robot. And create account. Voila, I'm signed in. That's it. To make sure that you are in fact signed in, I recommend you go up here to where the avatar appears in the top right hand corner, select the drop down and make sure your details are there. If they are not there, you may still be in the guest account, the one that you will lose everything. So make sure that you are signed in. I wish that there was an option here to add an avatar so you can actually see your face. But as you see from the drop down menu, we go to profile, you will not find that there is an option to add an avatar. This will take you to the Brizzy account. It actually takes you completely out of Brizzy Cloud, not what I would think is recommended. One thing you will notice here that as I've gone out of it and I've gone into my account settings, it says your account is not yet active. Validate your account by confirming your email. This means you will need to go to your inbox and check for an email verification request. I will jump to my web client to go have a look here and I'll see there is an email from Dimi from Brizzy and then account verification. Oh boy. And then I'll just click here on confirm email can't read. It. And now when I hop back and I refresh my page, this should be gone. How to go back, click here on dashboard. This takes us to Brizzy WordPress plugin. I told you I'll not use Brizzy WordPress term again. There it is, unfortunately, but we want to go to Brizzy Cloud, go to Brizzy Cloud. This you'll probably do and hopefully only do once at the very, very, very beginning, like now when you need to activate your account. Otherwise, in the future, you simply go to brizzy.cloud forward slash dashboard. If you are signed in, it will bring you directly into Brizzy Cloud. And that's it. You can check again up here. There are my details. I'm signed in. And Brizzy, I really request you for profile. Allow us to bring in an avatar so that when you see your little mugshot up there, you know for sure that you're signed in and you're working in your account. This is the dashboard. We'll talk about the dashboard next.